What's up guys, Henry and WR Free here with a new video for you today, and today we're going to take a look at the Pounding Treasure Hunt Set. Like all play rail items, the box looks absolutely amazing, with clips or pictures from the actual movie to understand where each of this fits in. It really does look amazing. They really do a good job on these boxes, and this box is no exception to it. I mean, look at the promo pictures. They're just great, honestly. Oh my gracious. Player always outs do out outdoes himself every time. Again, Fisher Price. If you'd like to adopt this method of boxing your items for sale, I'd applaud it. First off, we get a Custom Thomas, and this Custom Thomas is staggering, honestly. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on him, especially about the buffer beam, but I love that. I love that the buffer beam looks gray, because it just looks like the metal and the paint has just came off, and it's well, it mixed with the dirt. I really do love how there's dirt splattered across his footplate, and as well as on his side, er, his wheel arches, his tanks as well his smoke box, and even his face. And I like how both the sides aren't identical. And I really do believe, oh, sorry. But I really do believe this makes the model just look that much more realistic. And the attention to detail is just astonishing. Like, honestly, this is really weird for me to say, but I think this might be one of my favorite custom Thomases. Honestly, and I thought it would be something with just a subtle face, because that's normally what I like to see. But this is this extra mile to detail on the engine just has me thinking, I really like this. Another item we get in this set is a dynamite car, but it's a little bit different. Normally in the movie, the dynamite car is red. It's even depicted on the box as being red, but this is a green truck, and it looks very weird. And I'll show you why. This is a special car that has traction tires on the bottom of it. So when a train pulls along, such Thomas in the set, the dynamite crates go up and down. I do have another one of these as well, and this is actually one of two, but you just haven't seen the other one yet, anyway. But it's a really cool feature, and I really do feel like that adds really nice character into the car. At first, I didn't really like it that much, I will be honest with you, but after having this item for quite some time, I just really began to admire its unique personality amongst the other rolling stock, and I really can understand that it's just a fun truck but can also sort of blend amongst the others but add a livelihood to your other trains next up we have sailor john and skiff now skiff is just an old rowboat here as he's before he is in like season 20 in the last or song in the soda's legend of the lost treasure he's just a browns and white sailboat which is really cool to see he's just sailor john skiff and that's really nice to see. Now, it is just an easy repaint, as they even have the name boards on the side for Skiff's Rail Tours, like it is in the normal model. But I really do like how they just added this, as I just really don't see Skiff as the blue one all the time. Like, whenever I see him with Sailor John, I want to see him with like this. And yes, he does turn around 360 degrees. Take Sailor John. There we go. Still falls over. But yep, yeah. oh, if he'll stay on the tracks, that'd be nice. But he does turn around, so don't worry about that. There we go. He's just a little fidgety. Next, we have Sailor John. And Sailor John is a very nice character with some nice attention to detail in his face and as well as his coat. Now, he is just a toy model, and it's nothing, like, particularly fancy. But this is the only way to get a normal Sailor John. And as well as you can get him with the wooden railway set and so i really do like this sailor john now this is the only way to get him in any plastic form i guess so this is just a different model and it's a little bit different for me but personally the type isn't my style but i really do appreciate that a sailor john is just made in general and last but not least we have marion marion is really interesting why they are now marion did play a huge role in the movie but if they include another character i would prefer someone else that they haven't made but it's marion and i can uh, really understand why she was made i feel like it would have been nice to personally have maybe a different look to her maybe have 
a little bit of dirt and grime against her, but I can't really fault her, honestly. She looks great for what she's doing, and if you've seen my Gator and Marion review, you pretty much have my opinion. Now, the truck is different. I can sort of understand the yellow as being, you know, hazardous work material, I guess. But at the same time, I would have liked a more realistic color. But I don't know. At the same time, thinking that it could be labeled as a construction car and that's why it's yellow, I can understand it for that and I can respect that as well. So I'm neutral on Marion, but I think she's great. And even though I feel like she could have been replaced by something better, I really don't know what. And I really do believe Marion just adds a lot of liveliness to the set. So. She's alright. Now, what do I think about this pack just in general? Now, I think this is a great pack, personally. I really do feel like this captures the movie essence as a whole. And a lot of these packs, I just feel like they miss it just a little bit. But I really do like how this captures it and everything seen in this is actually in the movie. I really do appreciate a custom Thomas that just goes above and beyond the Call of Duty to it. And some fun cargo pieces. We get four characters in this. Um, four rolling stock pieces and Thomas. Now this does cost, I want to say around 40 US dollars in the United States, but it is coming from Japan, so prices will vary heavily. But do I recommend this? Absolutely. I feel like this is a wonderful piece to have in your collection. Now, do I warrant it over a lot of other stuff? I'll let you be the judge of it, but personally, I think this is a must-have to the collection. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day.